Russia's nightmare, F-35 comes in a terrifying beast mode. The elegant F-35 has a beast mode. The F-35 is commonly perceived as an elegant, sophisticated fighter, designed with futuristic features emphasizing stealth and surgical precision. The perception is accurate to a point. Yes, the F-35 is a fifth-generation stealth fighter, built around a supercomputer that enables advanced network connectivity and data sharing. But, the F-35 is a versatile, multi-role fighter after all, and when needed, can convert to a simple, British bomb truck, dash in a configuration informally known as beast mode. Said another way, attaching harshly angular bombs and missiles under your wings and fuselage will ping enemy radar. So, the F-35 typically carry their weapons load internally, within their smooth, radar-evading fuselage. Of course, only so much weaponry can be packed into an internal weapons bay. In stealth mode, the F-35 can carry a very limited quantity of weapons. The F-35 is limited to just 5,700 pounds of internal ordnance in stealth mode. For air-to-air -air missions, that's just 4 AIM-120M ROM missiles. And for air-to-air -air and air-to-surface hybrid missions, that's just 2 MROM missiles, plus 2 GBU-31J dam bombs. But at times, it's necessary to evade detection. Yet, as a conflict progresses, and an enemy's anti-air systems, i.e. sensors, air defense missiles, gun systems, and enemy aircraft, are destroyed, stealth mode loses relevance. And when stealth is no longer required, the F-35 reconfigures into beast mode, to maximize its firepower. In beast mode, the F-35 can carry roughly four times more ordnance than in stealth mode. Using the internal weapons bay, plus external mounts, the F-35 can handle 22,000 pounds of weaponry. For air-to-air -air missions, that's 14 AIM-120M ROMs and 2 AIM-3X Sidewinder missiles. For the US, which has a habit of both invading and then sticking around for long-term occupations, the F-35 needs to be able to contribute to the entire range of missions across the tactical spectrum.